<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Nightfall Drives. Hi! Dublin Cafe in Scotland. 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 <laughs> Let's not include that. Let's not cut that out. <laughs> yeah, <it's cut> <laughs> Uh, you wouldn't believe it was Scotland with the weather like this. Um, I obviously knew something when I booked convertible Z4. Uh, with flown up from Leeds into Edinburgh and picked up a, the, NW, the NW Z4 from Touro. Uh, a bit like we did last year with Mustang in Montreal. So I thought I'd just do a bit of a blog, vlog and a review I guess because we, we know a bit about the MX-5, which is a bit of a competitor to this, so we'll see how it goes, and uh, also try and try and get Kath driving and uh, enjoying enjoying driving on some of the roads, hopefully, <laughs> and not being too distracted by the sheep. <laughs> but they're so cute. <laughs> so yeah, and um, hopefully uh, we'll give you some useful advice or um, at least an idea for a holiday. Yeah, yeah, come, <laughs> come visit Scotland. It was lovely. <laughs> Even though the Mazda's got aftermarket shocks, what do you think? What do you think? Is it Smoother. Firmer. Sorry, I saw a pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's firmer. I think it's a bit firmer. What? So you can, or you can't feel the bumps. You feel more bumps. You can feel more bumps. Yeah. It could just be more potholes, if that's no, possible. The roads are quite good up there, actually. No, they were. Oh, go, go, go! <laughs> the co-driver <laughs> warning system in, in operation. <laughs> I think it's a bit crushy over the bumps, but um, it's still comfortable, you know what I mean? It sort of sounds, yeah. maybe, maybe it sounds bumpy, but it yeah. doesn't feel it. Okay, I'll think about that over the next set of bumps. But it does, it does feel like every BMW I've driven. Well, yeah, I used to have a 3 Series E46 saloon. And I've experienced a Z4 a bit like this, and then a Z3. And then uh, we had a track car that was a, a 96 318 or something. I had that. Just taken off. A uh, little, little bike. Little wee one. Yeah. Uh, have you ever driven a BMW? No, I've never driven a... Uh, I've been in a few. Hmm. Um, yeah, well, I can't, I can't explain exactly what it is. The um, throttle pedal is hinged at the bottom, which is a bit unusual. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not for German cars. And gearbox is nice, so it's quite nice. Maybe not as. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's a little bit notchier than the Mazda. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you'll get to experience it soon. Awesome. Uh, let's give it the beans now, see so it does. There's 
obviously uh, the MX-5 now with the BBR kit it just keeps going until 7, 8 or something. Yeah, I don't know what the flash was about. No, I don't. Yeah, I didn't feel the um, pushback when you accelerated as I do in the other cars. Yeah, this is the base, I think it's the base engine model or um, you can get quicker versions of this. Yeah. It's quite it's quite rewarding so far. It's um, it's got enough performance to get going and it feels like quite a substantial car compared to the Mazda, you feel a bit more in it rather than on it, I guess. Definitely. Nods of agreement. Yeah. Similar size interior, I think, but it's bigger outside. Yeah, a few more Grinch comforts with a little shelf here and the electric folding roof, which I don't have, that you can get on the Mazda. There's no wind buffer, but is it because it's uh, higher? It's not, you do get a bit of grease yeah. coming through, but maybe there is one, I haven't found it yet. Because that bit's a bit higher. Yeah. So they've not got one. staying in that area, similar to the video we did on the Avora last year. And you're going to get to drive the old military road, which is the fun bit. Yay! The fun and famous bit. Yay! That will be good fun. Oh, extra S. If Dan's watching, uh, that's with a double headlight, so um, loses marks there, I guess. <laughs> still, look, still look good. Yeah, yeah first impressions, uh, I, think I, I think I'm right about the suspension. It sounds mm -hmm. a bit bumpy, but it's actually quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then, I get the impression it's not going to get flung around the corners quite the same way as the MX-5, but it's still, um, it's still good fun. Yeah. What do you think of the looks, the looks of this? I quite like it. Yeah, I've always quite like this. Mm. And I, I checked, it's got um, DRLs, got the angel eyes. Every time that I look in your angel eyes. DRL? Yeah, uh, daytime running lights. Not DRS. Lights. <laughs> no, we're not in a we're not in a F1 car. Oh, sadly. You may have noticed that Kath is quite frequently distracted <laughs> by animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, who can blame her? I'll use this brief interlude then to tell you a bit more about Turo. It's um, if you're not familiar, it's a bit like an Airbnb for cars. I'm not at all sponsored or affiliated in any way with Turo, uh, just look at the size of my channel. But I've had a couple of great experiences with them, uh, with the, the, the Mustang in Montreal last year, and now the Z4. I really like the fact that you get a direct connection with the owners, you have direct contact with them before the trip, and um, they'll drop off the car themselves, in this case, uh, Jeanne and Greg. Really helpful, uh, giving us exact dimensions of the boot and uh, hooking up the Bluetooth on the car when we picked it up. Um, and they're really great about filming this as well, so you also get a, a, a good choice, a nice wide choice of cars that you wouldn't normally get with a, a rental company, so I think it's well worth a look and you might actually save a bit of money as well, so check it out. Uh, I do not remember these roads being this good. I, well, we didn't come this yeah. way, did we? No, it's in a slightly different way, but yeah. I remember on the whole there were too many problems about that one road when you drove the Lotus. <laughs> you gave me the worst road to drive. The road that was more pothole than road. <laughs> and got a bit, and got a bit um, uh, intense. Uh, yeah, I was trying to help you navigate through them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, largely, I think it's, it's pretty good up here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's quite, actually quite slow. 
steering rack, it's not, um, so it's a bit more set up for cruising, I think. But as long as you know that, you can Just still, still get us around. Where baby, I don't care, as long as you take me there. Just cruising. Just cruising. Where baby, I don't care. Just cruising. As long as you take me there. Just cruising. There's much more to, to say today, or shall we um, wrap up there and, and uh, come back on when we've uh, had Joy a bit more experience with well? it? We could try a little transition trick, just tap the tap the lens, and then we'll reappear this in bit. the future. Transition done. And this, this is a bit unfair because you've only been driving for five minutes, but I'm already being thrown around like this. <laughs> so you seem to be getting on the right with it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Whee! Ooh. <laughs> and already better than Mazda. Yes, a little bit more comfortable. Um, despite putting the seat up, I still feel a bit too short to see over properly. I have to keep doing this. Yeah. I need to is grow my body longer. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is so the max is it? I think so. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a look. Yeah, I could have a lot. Yeah, I think the, uh, the Mazda is more dialed in. This is a bit more uncomfortable laid back, I think. Yeah. So, a bit personal preference, I guess. Yeah. I did find out this is a two litre turbo. Um, peak power at 5,000 RPM, so it does sort of run out of oh. off a little bit. Where were? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why is it telling me to go two different I've got ways some at once? Weird directions now. Uh, back in a minute. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Some time later. You always give me the easiest of drives, Doug. <laughs> Here, take the Lotus on this massively road. It's just a huge pothole with a few little bits of tarmac. <laughs> you can drive the BMW. Yeah, let's oh, no. just um... go the wrong way. Go this way, go that way. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> always let down my technology. Yeah. We used to buy a good old map. Yeah, we'll go back to paper maps. Navigation and stuff. Harry Metcalf style. Yeah. Who's Harry Metcalf? Harry's Garage. Harry's Farm? Yeah. Yeah, Harry's oh, Farm, Harry's yeah. Garage. He uses paper maps in his videos yeah. a lot to show you what we're doing. I think we should do that <laughs> more. I quite enjoy reading a map. Well, this is a fun bit of road, at least. This is, isn't it? Yeah. Dear. Yeah, it's right on the edge. Yep. How do you miss them? <laughs> the camera's right here. <laughs> That's my excuse. But um, the two row is brilliant, really, because you can get something like this rather than a, a anonymous saloon hatchback sort of thing. Fiat 500. For quite quite a good price. Um, so I think we'd much rather be in this than anything else. a bit slow but maybe that's because I've just done 2,000 miles in the, in the Lotus. <laughs> so anything will feel a little bit slower in comparison. Yeah. Back like at the, the Yeah, back at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and on the way to our destination. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a morning arranging stuff um, for the wedding. Uh, then drive, I'll drive to lunch and then you can go over the, the fun road through the hills and we'll pick it up there. So let's try another transition and we'll probably be on the old military road. Uh, so we're not quite on the old military road but we're just south of it. And this bit of road is actually just as, just as much fun. Uh, are you happy now you're driving again? Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> I did the bit from Pilotri, Pilotri to, to here, I'm just switched. Um, yeah, you're a better driver than passenger. Yeah, I like being in control of the car. Yeah. <laughs> I get too scared when you drive. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of any uh, 
Yeah. Illegality. Absolutely not. No, of course. We didn't go uh, the speed limit once. No, we didn't. Uh, just uh, maybe the lines and... Uh, Anyway, at least you enjoy yourself now, and uh, we'll see how you get on with the uh, the highest road in Britain. Yeah. Yay. Well, I quite like this because um, for me, I don't need that much power, like say the Lotus has, or even the BBR Mazda. And I think, especially for these roads, the amount of power that this car has is. It's not scary power, mm. it's controllable. Calf power. Yeah. Calf power. Calf power. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I remember that little hump there, that's like the start of, <laughs> start of it. You can yeah. see for miles nice here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. miles ahead but then you kind of forget you know, there's, there's a bit of doubt about is there something there or not undulations oh there's another road sheep by the road yeah it's a bit close yeah. oh it's so cute Secretly put you in sport mode at the start of this. I don't know if you okay. notice any difference. Uh, not really. Should I? <laughs> Did no, you no. notice much difference when you used it? Maybe a touch oh, more. My word. <laughs> <laughs> a touch more throttle response, but. Um, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. I thought these little fun dips, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, the key question is are you, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah! to hear and would you be enjoying yourself any more or less in anything else well, this, this is the ideal sort of thing for you yeah I, i'm enjoying it i must admit i never saw myself as a bmw sort of gal um, but i'm quite liking this little machine it's quite nippy it's got the power i need it's comfortable i wouldn't go for leather seats no too hot no. in the sun and too cold in the winter yeah. And they're a bit slippery, like. Yeah, you do 
you slide about a bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Lotus Alcantara seats, they'd hold you in place. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. With, without being sticky or anything. So we have made it to Braemar, we'll um, probably call it a day there with the the vlog, whatever this has been. Um, thanks for driving Cuff, I uh, achieved the goal it. of uh, getting you to enjoy it. I do enjoy it, it was fun. So, mission succeeded, and uh, let's see if we can get a lovely parking spot at the Five Arms. Uh, next to this one? No. no oh, I'm not as lucky this time. No, it's okay. But we're going to have a little look around here, um, sort out some wedding stuff and have a dinner in, in the Five Arms. It's going to be um, awesome. What a day. What a day. <laughs> so I um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you again for another one. Well, Cheers. Park. <laughs> 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 bye bye. Bye.